Number 26. Research on the optimum structure and content of data storage to accommodate the need of people with disabilities. It all depends how data is stored and whether additional information is stored to help a disabled person, whether a whole overall system can be used. For instance, an indoor navigation system for a shopping centre will have layers of information of use to different people. For instance, the fire brigade may be interested in how to navigate there under low vision conditions, but they want to know the position of fire hydrants. Whereas a blind person may need a lot more accuracy because they want to know the position of, say, a post box, which may be inset in a wall. It's no good just saying it's inset in that wall. They need to know exactly where it is, otherwise if they miss it by a few centimetres, they've missed it. In the case of, for instance, a system at a railway station, you may have a system for everybody which gives you effectively a web-based system accessible on your mobile phone about what time the next train is and its destination. The blind person would also like to know what platform it's on and how to get there and how many minutes late is it running or early. But also that data structure needs to be designed so it comes out sensibly without any adaptation in both speech as well as visually.